Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and welcome to another NFT tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to create your very own NFT on your phone or mobile device. This is going to be applicable to anyone who has an Android or iPhone. And the reason I kind of wanted to do this tutorial is because I felt like so many of my viewers are actually on phone supported devices only and don't own a computer. And a good majority of my tutorials revolve around the computers so I felt like hey why not upload a tutorial for all the mobile users and subscribers that I have. Now today's tutorial is going to be a very simplistic one and if you do enjoy it make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers. Also make sure to check out my NFT course where I show you how to build and market your very own NFT project. With that out of the way let's get right into the sponsor of today's video. Video, Supremacy created by Ninja Syndicate. So if you haven't heard of the Ninja Syndicate, they just received a $100,000 investment to help develop their gaming platform, bringing their total valuation to over $100 million. Supremacy is a play to earn game where you can battle other AI controlled war machines in the metaverse. There's so many amazing features within this NFT based project. They have over 50 plus team members working working on the project and the gameplay within this game looks incredible. If you want to learn more about the Ninja Syndicate and their new game called The Supremacy, all of their links will be linked down in the description where you can go and check them out. Alrighty, let's get right into this tutorial. So you'll be needing a few apps which you can download on both Android and iPhone. The first app that you want to download is MetaMask. I'm sure majority of you guys already have MetaMask downloaded as it's the most popular wallet for crypto and NFTs. The next thing you'll need is OpenSea. This is where you're going to be uploading your NFT art to. All of these apps are completely free and very easy to use. The last app you'll be needing is called Medibang and that's the software that we're going to be using to create our NFT. Some other fantastic options, some that I've used in the past on this channel is the Photoshop Express Photo Editor app and Pixar, which I also find very good for photo editing. The only reason I'm going to be using Medibang is because it has a fantastic layer feature that you guys can utilize and could be very beneficial to the NFT creating process. So once Medibang is downloaded, we're going to open it up. You may be asked to buy the full version. Basically, the full version is going to remove any of the ads that this application has. You don't need to use or buy the full version in my personal opinion. So we're just gonna close out of that. Then we're going to select that new canvas option on the screen. It's gonna ask us to log in. You don't have to make an account, just hit not now. Then we are going to select new canvas and we are going to set the settings from a 500 width and 500 height. You really want a square shape when creating your NFT. When I make NFTs on the computer, I usually set it to 3000 by 3000. But since we're on the mobile device and I don't want to take too much space up on my phone, I'm going to set it to 500 by 500. We're going to keep it in pixels and set the resolution DPI back down to 300. I believe the default is at 350, so there's really not that big of a difference, but I just like to keep it at 300. I find it's a lot cleaner with that setting. And those are all these settings you want to change. The next thing you want to do is go OK, and then it's going to ask you for your Bluetooth. We're just going to hit don't allow because it doesn't really need our Bluetooth. It's going to give you a brief tutorial on some of the fantastic features that you can always go and read through, but we're going to skip next so I can show you guys the basic features to create your first ever NFT. So the default tool is going to be the brush tool and to use it all you have to do is draw on the screen you can always use a stylus and that makes drawing so much easier so if you do have a stylus i highly recommend it and that's why they needed that bluetooth the bluetooth was actually for the stylus but for this tutorial i'm not using a stylus so my drawing is definitely not going to be as good so you can just draw a circle like so and then let's say you want to fill in the circle well you don't have to color it in you can actually go to the paint bucket tool and select in the middle of the circle and it will automatically 
automatically fill it in, which is very awesome. You can also make custom shapes like squares and circles, and you can change the color of anything on the sidebar as shown. To access the different layers, you want to select the right side of the screen and drag out, and you can hit the plus icon to create a new layer. This is going to be very important when you're creating different accessories for your NFT. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be making a really basic one, so I don't think I'm going to utilize this, but this is something always to look into when you're making mobile NFTs. So I'm going to start this process by selecting the bucket tool and painting blue on the background. Then I'm going to change the size of the brush tool by selecting the brush itself and making it larger. I'm then just going to hit a dot in the middle and this is going to be our base. I'm gonna add two more dots and kind of try and make a goofy little face. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a ellipse or better known as like a wonky circle I like to call it and I'm gonna set that as the mouth. You can do this in the shape tool with the top left screen. I'm also gonna add a tongue to this design and add some more eyes. I kind of want to make him a stick figure, so we're going to go to the straight line shape and we're going to add that in and add two more in for the arms and bam we are done that is our basic design there's so many different awesome options within this program and i highly suggest you guys really go through and look at all the creative things you can do i could literally spend like five hours on medibang just playing with all the different settings but this is a brief tutorial on actually creating the art because we need to get into how to upload it on OpenSea. so once you're done you want to hit the hamburger at the bottom of the screen and then go to save once you hit save hit png and then save to your camera roll the next thing you want to do is go to OpenSea and link your metamask wallet to OpenSea. now i already have a metamask wallet created so i'm just going to connect it However, if you don't already have a MetaMask wallet created, you need to log on to the MetaMask app and make one. It's incredibly easy to do so and I actually have a tutorial on how you do it on the iPhone on my channel. I'll have that linked down below. So once your OpenSea is connected with your MetaMask wallet, you'll be able to see your account and you're good to begin uploading your NFT. So you want to go to Safari and type in OpenSea and you'll need to log into the OpenSea on Safari once again so i just logged into my account then i'm going to click the create button and you'll be asked to link your metamask wallet again this won't require you to do anything since it's already connected on your iphone you'll then be asked to sign a message and then bam this page will come up where it says create new item you select the image go to your camera roll select the image or your nft and then you can type in all the necessary information like the item name i'm just going to call this mobile nft tutorial and for the description i'm just going to say it's an example of how to create an nft on your phone you can add in different properties and this is very important for the metadata so i'm just going to type in like the background and it's blue and then for the face it is green yada 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 you get the idea i'm then going to set the blockchain to polygon the reason you want it as polygon is because there is no gas fees so you won't be paying any of those pesky gas fees that you just don't want to deal with and then you can select great it will bring up a captcha that you have to do once you pass that bam your nft is officially uploaded to OpenSea, and you can view and and sell it or just keep it on your account whatever you choose to do so yeah guys that's going to conclude this very beginner basic tutorial on how to upload your very own nft on your phone if you like easy to do nft reviews tutorials and more make sure to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe as i'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers if you have any questions make sure to join my discord server and if you want to learn how to create your very own nft project and possibly make thousands make sure to go and check out my nft course well guys i hope you enjoyed the video have a great rest of your day peace see ya later thank you for watching the video and don't forget to remember thank you for watching the video